हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन विद मी संयुक्ता सक्सेना सर्टिफाइड जेंटेंगल टीचर इन टुडे सेशन विल बी लर्निंग अनदर जेंटेंगल ओरिजिनल व्हिच इज कॉल्ड सेटलिंग आई हैव ऑलरेडी पोस्टेड अ टीजर इन ऑन द पैटर्न सेटलिंग ऑन माय फेसबुक पेज एंड जस्ट एज वी डू इन ऑल आवर सेशंस टुडे विल बी लर्निंग हाउ टू ड्रा द बेसिक पैटर्न सेटलिंग एंड आल्सो एक्सप्लोर एंड ड्रा अ टाइल टुगेदर along with the pattern settling and few more tangles to go along right so let's get started learn the zentangle original settling and then we shall draw a tile together so let us first see how do we draw it's a very simple organic looking pattern so settling is a pattern starts with this stem right and then just as we end the stem like a poke root or in a poke root or a poke leaf we place a small curve on the head of the stem and then we just have to or i it so draw these oval shapes around the head of the stem like this right so this is the basic of the pattern settling generally drawn in a bunch so if this is the head then i am going to or i it like this right draw another one so you can see the same elemental stroke is just a c shape or a curve no other strokes involved block the head and then just add these oval or c shape like this right as with most of these entangle patterns the basic strokes are very simple after that it's up to you how do you want to use it how do you want to play around with it create a variation improvise it so right so this is the basic pattern settling how do we generally bring about a variation you can either add a weight some weight to one side of the line or you can add weight here right so these are some of the ways you can bring about another way is to use these oras to add some pattern right so i can always add some orbs or some other pattern in these oras generally the outer aura you can also add a sparkle if you wish just ink the outer most aura and leave a highlight like this right you can also add a sparkle by breaking the auras at the same place like we do with printums right so the variations are innumerable so just let your imagination go wild let me show you a few tiles that i have drawn using the pattern so this is the use of settling just like vertigo right and this is triply and some bronx chips to go along just a dash of color right this is again settling with banzo and with anisu and some mokas right just to show you how you can use the same pattern differently kiko with some settling and banzos right it's just about arrangement this is the teaser that i had posted so another use of settling with long stems and some indirella and mukas to go along right 
again generally the way it is drawn this is the way it is generally drawn like a bunch and then you can add auras and add tangles around it right another example so this is again settling in the center and some more patterns to go along so today let us draw a tile using the same settling and few more patterns let us see which pattern do we use right so i'm going to draw something like <coughs> what we draw the pattern hollis right so i'm going to start in that fashion the way we draw the pattern hollis right so go slow take your time and just draw the stems in the manner you draw the pattern hollis right i'm keeping it simple one on each side not extending it beyond because i am using it like a border right so i have started with the tangle pattern hollis we have already learned this pattern just in case you are new to the pattern please refer to my video right so pretty simple i am not extending it beyond the limit because i want to use the hollis for my pattern settling right i like this arrangement so i am going to use this arrangement for my pattern settling so just continue like this as you must be knowing if you know the pattern hollis you can extend it any which ways just grows on your tile like a wild very organic pattern open to many additions but i am going to restrict it to one stem on either side because i told you i want to use it for my settling right right so now these ends i am going to add the pattern settling right so you can draw as many auras as you wish so go slow spaces are small take your time right so they are just like hanging from the stems so it's okay to draw behind at places just using the hollis as a stem and then adding my settlings right so i think you got the hold of how to draw the pattern so let me do this exercise throughout so i am on the last two continuing to add my settlings in the same fashion to all the heads so this is how we used the settlings again use these
corners or V shapes to add some bronchures. I love doing that. You can add any other pattern of your choice. Right. Right. So we have done that exercise of adding the Bronx chills here and there. So let us now proceed to our next step. I'm going to add another layer of aura inside so that my border is separated from the rest of my tile this mimicking the shape that is formed inside right not thinking much this separating my border right and now let us uh, introduce some more patterns so I'm just going to draw a small circle inside just for reference like this right so add and going to ink it Let us add some Knight's Bridge. So I am going to be adding the pattern Knight's Bridge here. Right. So again, slight curve to the lines. I am not drawing absolute straight lines here, I'm giving a slight curve to the lines, right? And then I am going to divide the rest of the sections with double lines and see what patterns can we draw. Inside these sections. So I'm just making a random division, trying to make them equal, but even if they are not, it's okay. No problem. Right? So let's first do our Knight's Bridge. So I'm going to start from one side. Start inking. So we have already done this pattern. So four corners of each square to be inked or you can say alternate squares to be inked whichever way you find it easy to relate a pattern just looks like checkerboard right So I'm going to continue inking and I'll get back. So four sides of each square to be inked or you can say alternate squares to be inked. Right. So I'm inking the last few sections. As you can see here I've finished inking my nice bridge. right so rest of the sections up to us what do we want to do so let's start with uh, a pattern shattuck
you can draw any other pattern of your choice please go ahead choose your own pattern I'm drawing what I feel like at this point of time so I'm adding the pattern shattuck here again a pattern we have already learnt how to draw so some of my older videos if you refer you will be able to find how to draw the pattern shatter right again I leave one section and draw shatter so move your tile not your hand let it remain in the comfort position and keep moving your tile right again I leave one section and do the same exercise 